<laughs> Mommy, that man's leaving his cart in the middle of the parking spot all willy-nilly. <gasps> that old lady's going to die. Excuse me, sir, but that's not where the carts go. Shut up and mind your own business. And that's why it doesn't pay to be a lazy bones. I want you inside me, cart narc. Cart narcs. Hello, everybody. You're listening to the Snowplow Show. This is episode 660, and it's brought to you by Raiden Digital, Inspector Ratchet, Todd L., Eat Fuck, and Grumpy Bernard. Thanks, all of you, for supporting the show over at patreon.com slash phone losers. And thanks to the new supporters, Alan H., Jeeves W., Moses G., Dustin W., James W., Stalin Without the Charm, James H., David M., Set the Hook, and yeah, that's enough on this episode. This is the show where we do improv comedy with unsuspecting improv partners. It's usually a lot of fun. Not all the time. Sometimes it's complete bullshit. You're like, why am I listening to this? But I think today is going to be fun. I'm going to try something that I've been meaning to do for the past week or two. We'll get to that in a minute. First, I need to tell you all to leave notes for Ding Timber. I've been doing my own version of Ding Timber over on the Hobo Sodes, which you can listen to by being a supporter on Patreon. But I still have not done an actual car ding call this year. But I know some people were leaving some notes this week, so maybe Dwight will have some on his show for me to do this weekend. I'm planning on being on his show this Saturday. So leave some car ding notes for Dwight and anybody else, really. What the fuck is a carding, you may be asking? Well, let me tell you. You write some notes up that say, Sorry, I dinged your car. Please give me a call back. Here's my phone number. Here's my name. And you leave these notes on your friends' cars, your family's cars, your neighbors' cars, just anybody that's not going to arrest you or kill you if they catch you putting a note on their car. And you give them the phone number of one of the prank call hosts that is participating in Ding Timber this year. And they receive a call saying, hey, what'd you do to my car? Says here, you dinged it. And the prank call host will tell them a crazy story. And it's sometimes a lot of fun. I've heard some pretty good ones this year. The few that I've tried to do, they just haven't picked up. And like it was the last one. So I just haven't been too lucky doing it myself. Hopefully I'll be able to do at least one this weekend. And that all depends on you leaving notes on cars. So go pay a sneaky surprise visit to your grandma. Don't tell her you're there. Just kind of casually stroll up in her driveway and put a note on her car. Telling her you're sorry you dinged it. And you're going to want the phone numbers to leave on these notes. To find those, you go over to prankcallnation.com slash dingtimber. That's ding as in D-I-N-G, timber. And that will give you all of the phone numbers and all of the names that you need to leave ding notes. Ding Timber is almost over. We only have a week left. And maybe some of the other shows will keep doing it all year. I don't know. They can do whatever they want. But officially, it's over at the end of this month. So please go leave some notes. PrankCallNation.com slash Ding Timber. In other news, the Snowplow Show coins arrived like 30 minutes ago. I've been watching the tracking all day today. And it says they were just delivered today to the post office. I have to go by there tomorrow morning and pick them up. But the PLA coins arrived last week. And hopefully you saw the video of me showing them off. I will use a picture in today's show art of the new 2020 coins if you want to see what they look like. Basically, they look exactly like last year's. But they sent the Snowplow Show coins in a separate shipment, which I will apparently get tomorrow. So I'm going to be mailing coins out soon to all of you who've supported the coins on the Kickstarter. Isn't that exciting? of weeks ago i was doing a live show in fact was that the carol show it seems like that's probably the last live show i did i can't really remember but anyway the chat room was throwing ideas at me and one thing led to another and eventually wolfiton started having me act like the cartnarks no it wasn't a carol show i did the carol show before Devin's show but i did a normal me show after the wasted show maybe two weeks ago Anyway, Wolfatin, or I think it was Wolfatin, he started suggesting that I act like the cart narcs and accuse people of not putting their carts away. I was already doing shopping cart calls at the time because that's what Wasted was doing on his show. I was telling people I was going to bring a bunch of shopping carts to their backyards and just store them there for a while until I could recycle them. 
and that led into cart narcs stuff and i did a few of those they were fun but it was very late so people were just not really believing a lot of things my plan today though is to try and do more cart narc calls so that's what you're about to hear is me attempt to do cart narc calls and maybe they won't work maybe i'll give up after three calls and just do requests but i think these have a pretty good chance of working what i'm gonna do is just call up random people from this old list that Reggie sent to me, which just happens to be in an area that is local to the Distorted View voicemail. So I've set the Distorted View voicemail as my caller ID. Distorted View is a podcast that I really, really like. Everybody should go listen to it, distortedview.com. So I like to set my phone number to Distorted View's voicemail. And then when I'm listening to their show, occasionally I hear an angry person call into the voicemail and yell at Tim, and he has no idea why. Sometimes he speculates that it's me, and it's always fun to hear people call into Tim's voicemail and yell threats at him. So I've changed my phone number to 20666, oh God, as in, oh God. Well, you broke into my fucking car. Support the distortion, tell all your friends, I forget how the rest goes. Anyway, I'm going to do some cart art calls using Tim Henson's phone number. I'm going to piss off two people at once, both the cart narcs and Tim Henson from Distorted View. And Cartnarks, if you're listening, Sebastian, please don't hate me for doing this. I won't do it again if you don't want me to do it again. Because I kind of plan on impersonating you, calling myself Sebastian. Oh shit, I should probably explain what the Cartnarks are for those who don't know. I first learned about the Cartnarks, I think, was it this year or last? Rappy McRapperson started sending me emails or texts or something. He's like, hey Brad, check this out, it's so funny. And I just kind of blew him off. I watched it. I'm like, oh, okay, this guy's kind of an asshole. Why doesn't he find something better to do with his time? But I guess, you know, they weren't the best ones that the cart narcs have ever done. So I started watching others, and they're pretty much just amazing. They're exactly like prank calls, in my opinion. Because is what he does is he hangs out in parking lots at grocery stores, department stores, you know, Walmarts and CVS drug stores, whatever. And I think he wears one of those reflective vests. He has a uh, body camera, I think maybe strapped to his chest. He's got a bottle of cleaning liquid. He cleans up the carts as he walks around the parking lot. And when he spots somebody that doesn't put their cart into the cart corral, that's when shit starts getting crazy. Here, I'm going to play a clip. Here's one from a week ago. This one's really good. I remember this one. It's called Old Yeller. And it's short-ish, but it's got a really good yelling old man in it. It's always a choice between right and wrong. And that's wrong. Whoops, keep it, whoop, 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 whoop. That's not where the cart goes, sir. That's blocking the spot. What's that? This cart's just blocking the spot now. Cart you want to park here? No, no, no. I'm saying so park here? somebody made though. Well, that's that's their problem then, okay? But you just made it their problem when it No, it, you know, this cart was here. Oh. Ah, okay, and I old, put that one. Old, I don't want to start any bullshit. So what? he's he's saying that there was already a cart in this empty spot. So what's it hurt if he puts another one in the empty spot? And then, of course, Sebastian schools him and makes him yell a whole bunch. I'm going to keep listening because I want to hear him yell. He's already yelling. Though. I have a conversation real quick. It's the old two wrongs don't make a right argument. May I use one of my great cart narc analogies, sir? No. What if I... So the guy's walking away and he's just following him and talking to him. Decided to masturbate in this parking lot. Would that make it right for you to do the same thing? Maybe. What do you mean, maybe? That's disgusting, sir. Yeah, isn't it? No, it's not. It's not a good thing. So now the guy's just like laughing. Really enjoy your day. That's well. It's making, you're making it harder because I'm the cart narc. This is my job to knock people out. All yeah. right. Well, we got these bumper magnets, sir. Here, so, uh, to shame lazy bones. The really great thing is when they ignore him like this and they say their little smart assy comment and they get in their cars and they attempt to drive away. And Sebastian pulls out a bumper sticker magnet, not a sticker, just a magnet, and tosses it on their hood or the side of the car or the back of the car, and people freak the fuck out. It's great. God damn it. What'd you put that on my car for? Because you left your card out, and that's what it says. It says, I don't return my shopping cart like a jerk, and it's got our phone number, though. You can call us and give us some... Oh, it's on the ground. It's littering. So the guy Here, threw I'm it on right. the ground. Fly it. God damn it, man. I went to... And of course, he picks it up and goes to put it back on his car. The grocery store. Right. I came here. I'm, I'm following. And I don't need your bullshit. But it's... Uh, but see, sir. Okay? You, you started with the BS, not no, me. No, you did. Uh, how, sir, you did know I... why you did? Because you asked me about... So this guy's being super aggressive, walking up toward Sebastian really fast and yelling. Looks like he's about to throw a punch or something. A fucking cart. Even yeah. though he's like 80 years old. Why? Why, do, why would I do that? 
because I didn't park it in the thing. Right. Okay. Exactly. Okay. I know I didn't. But okay. And don't I you wanna... didn't, goddamn, I didn't feel like walking over there. Okay. But don't you want to be a better person? I love how honest he is. Sir, there's a chance to be like, you know, Jesus and Gandhi and MLK. They would take their cards back. Don't put it on my car, okay? But I don't feel like you, you have no business doing that. But this is my business. I'm the car. No, owner. I don't give a shit. This is my. It's in my job I title. I don't give a. So sh people chase this guy. They threaten him with knives and tasers. It's so great. Everybody needs to watch this channel. It is literally my business. Now. Well, you paid for that? Yes, sir. How much you make? Well, sir, that's confidential, but it's... Oh, it is, I'm huh? not asking you your salary. No, I'm not. That's, you I, have no idea what I do. That's why I didn't ask. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I, I got to play this whole say? thing. Maybe not the whole thing. Thank you, sir. This guy does do the right thing in the end. This old man, he actually puts his card away. He turns out to be a nice guy after he yells, which is different. Usually they never do that. I appreciate that. I got it under control though. Thank Sorry, you. I'm spoiling it. So I appreciate it. Thank you. Anyway, yeah, the guy says he doesn't. Guy. He did, I, don't, I have no idea. I have no idea. He just said knock it off and don't yell at me. Basically. Yeah, whatever. It, it's it goes on for another minute and a half. I'll stop playing it. But to me, this is exactly like prank calls. He kind of looks like an employee of whatever place he's hanging out in. He's got all his professional equipment and stuff. And these people think that he works in the store usually at first anyway. And he gets to say just completely ridiculous, awful things to these people. Just like we do in prank calls when we impersonate stores and businesses and whoever else. So I think that's why I really like the cart narcs. It's, it's like prank calls, but in real life, where you actually get chased and threatened and all that. I still have this video paused. Hold on. I just, I got to see if he yells a little bit more. I don't give a shit what I tell him. But, but, but I'll tell That's God the truth. damn it. Sir, can you know, I ask? All I want to do is go home. I didn't need your fucking expertise <laughs> on this. Well, this okay? is why we're here. We're here to help people out who need our expertise. You know what? What? You know what I'll do? What? I'll be a great guy. I'm going to put both of those carts back in. That's there. awesome. Aww. Okay. That I see. You, you, you Will you leave me alone? Absolutely. That's all. This is amazing. I love that he turned this around. And what's great is these people will spend just insane amounts of time yelling at Sebastian and arguing with him. And saying things like, oh, well, it gives the employees a job to do. But it almost always comes down to them just being a big old lazy bones. Not one to put their carts away. It's a lot of fun. And that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to call up people at their homes from this list of Reggie's using Tim Henson's phone number. And we're going to see where that goes. So in case it's not completely clear, I have nothing to do with cart narcs. I'm not a part of cart narcs. I am simply impersonating the cart narcs. Probably Sebastian himself, or maybe I'll impersonate Tim, since the name coming up on the caller ID says Tim Henson. But here it goes. Let's let's just get started. Let's make a call. Hello. Hi, Melissa. Yes. Hey, woo woo skilly woo. This is Sebastian from the Cart Narks. From the who? The Cart Narks. We saw you at the grocery store. Here are other things you can try. I don't think so. Oh, yes, we did. You didn't put your cart away. You didn't bring it back to the cart corral. You just left it in the space. The I haven't been to a grocery store in months. Yeah, but the last time you were there, what'd you do? You left your cart out, didn't you? You were being a big old lazy bones. I don't know what you're talking about. Ma'am, I'm with the cart narcs. We're a team of highly specialized agents. Working many grocery store parking lots. And you didn't put your cart away. You didn't take it back to the cart corral. Why not? I can't believe that. Oh, I think... That's impossible. What do you mean it's impossible? It's impossible. Th that's what they I all... I have not been to a grocery store in months. But the last time you were at a grocery store... When did this, this Look, supposedly happen? We're, we're backlogged right now. We, we've been... Oh, you tell me of, when it because happened. Of, because of COVID. So it's been a while... You Tell me when it happened. Listen, lady, it's been a while and we're catching up. Okay, so you thought oh, you got you bullshit. you thought you got away with it, but guess what? Cart narcs are always oh, watching. So what do you want from me? What just, do you want from me? I just want you to acknowledge that you made a mistake and you won't do it again. I did not. I did not make a mistake, ma'am. I uh, I never leave my the, cart the, unattended. The camera. And that's just the camera does not lie, ma'am. All of our agents wear. Tell me where it was and when. All of our all of our cart narc agents they wear body cameras, 
and they I've see never everything. Heard of cart narc. Well, look this it up. A, this is the silliest thing I've ever heard. Oh, of. it's it's pretty silly, isn't it? Leaving leaving your cart out and just letting it run into other people's cars and cause damage. Uh huh. Yeah, I would never do that. Yeah, yeah. So it's what give they me all your say. information and want to check you out. I don't want to be checked out, but you can find us uh, well, on. Of course cart- you don't, but you should. Yeah, well, you can find Give me your information. I'm trying to. Shut up. What's your business identification <laughs> number? Listen, that's private information, but you can find us on YouTube at Cartnarks. No, it's not. Oh, yes, it is. I don't like that's to... public information. Ma'am, I don't like to give out my information to somebody who is a lazy bones and doesn't put their cart away. <laughs> I am no lazy bones. I'm a cancer patient. I don't go out. Oh, so cancer patients are perfect, upstanding citizens who... Never make a mi- Okay, there she goes. We're doing great so far. I've called a cancer patient. That's always a sign that your show's going perfectly. But you know what? I remember the real Sebastian having a guy use that same excuse. The guy that was peeing from inside his car. Didn't he say he had cancer? He said he had some sort of medical condition. So it's fine that I just gave a cancer patient the weirdest phone call of her entire life. Hello? John? Sir? Whoop, whoop, skiddly, whoop, whoop, whoop. This is uh, Sebastian from the Cartnarks. From the who? From the Cartnarks. We saw you at the grocery store. You didn't put your cart away into the cart corral. You're being a big old lazy bones. Uh, and I'm just calling to tell you, next time, you should put your cart into the cart corral. You can't just be doing the curb oh. maneuvers. What are we talking about? I haven't been out in a few days. I know, it was a few days ago. We were a little backlogged, and uh, all the people we've been calling because of the fires and stuff. I have no idea. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm actually very good about the cart. Oh, no, no, no. You left your cart out. You uh, you did a curb maneuver. You uh, rolled it up to the, the little uh, the median and put the front wheels up into the mulch. And you know what? That mulch, it gets into the wheels, it gets into the store. You ever had a cart that... Now where did... That, where? That, 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 you know, gets stuck in the store it's because of people like you putting the wheels up in the mulch. Where, where did this happen? And, and who are you? Uh, this is Sebastian from I the cart. I must car- say I'm intrigued. You're intrigued? I'm not intrigued. I just think you uh-huh. should put your carts away from now on. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for calling me. Oh, you're welcome. So you admit it. You you didn't put your cart away. I knew it. I knew I was right. No, I'm not admitting anything. I actually almost, I, I'm certain I always put the cart away. The camera never lies. Uh, all, all of our trained agents, they wear body cameras. So, uh, you know, we, uh-huh. we, we definitely have video of you not putting your cart away. Must have slipped your mind that time. Uh-huh. Okay then. Okay, uh, so I'll accept adios. your I'll accept your apology, and we'll be on our way. Very well. That wasn't an apology. That was a more like a very well. That's exactly what it was. So, yep. With that, we'll close. Well, do you at least feel bad for leaving your cart out? Because you know those carts, they can even when you put them up on the curb, somebody might not see them. They might you know just pull the car right into them, scratch up their bumper. You know, I I really think you've got the wrong guy. I don't know. Like we we definitely saw you there. Uh, you know, not putting your cart away. Where are, are you? Are you saying you're framed? Because that's what people in uh, prison generally say. They always they're always like, I didn't do it. I was framed. My my friend did it. Okay, great. Now I'm making uh, old men feel like they're going senile. It's probably gonna eat at him all day. He's just gonna be like, did I? not put my cart away i'm so confused so i'm suddenly realizing that uh, a lot of these calls are just going to be basically the same thing me accusing them of doing one thing and them insisting that they never do that unless i get one that that actually does do that and admits to it but really what kind of animal does that that's crazy talk hello hi linda yes hey whoop whoop skiddly whoop 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 this is uh sebastian from the cart narcs from where? The cart narcs. We saw you at the grocery store. You didn't put your cart away. You didn't return it to the cart return. You're being a big old lazy bones. I don't know who you are or what you're talking about. What grocery store? 
Well, I just told you who I am. You, you were uh, you did, you you brought your cart out. You put your uh, you know bags in the car, and you just left the cart out there in a spot. That, that could have rolled away. Luckily, we saw it. We put it away. Nothing bad I happened. I hate to break it to you, but I don't go to the grocery store. My husband does. Yeah, I didn't so say the grocery don't store. Don't call it was, me it was, again, ma'am. It was the, it was the sends her husband to do the groceries. I see how it is. That's another bad thing about doing cart and art calls right now, you know, this year, because I'm calling an area that not only has been affected by COVID-19, but also by the wildfires. So who the hell goes outside anymore and gets their own groceries? I sure don't, and neither do these people, apparently. The reason I don't go, though, is just because I don't want to. I don't like going to grocery stores. I do the pickup thing from Walmart. Well, good afternoon. Whoop, whoop, skilly, whoop, whoop, whoop. Hey, Deborah. Yes. This is uh, Agent Sebastian from the Cartnarks. Uh, we saw you at the store a couple days ago, and you didn't put your cart away. You didn't take it back to the cart return? Excuse me? You, you didn't return your cart. You left it out in the middle of a spot. And that would be false. Oh, no, no. We, we definitely saw you do this, and... You know, that could have rolled yeah, away. Yeah, no, that, you would be completely incorrect, sir. Why, you'd be 100 per, you would be 100% incorrect. Why do you say that? Why, why, why would I say that? Because I either, A, always put my cart away, or, two, I take it into the store. So I would never leave my cart in the middle of a spot, ever. I don't know about that. It seems awfully fishy that one of our uh, cart narc agents <laughs> saw you out there, and you just left it right in the middle of your spot. You didn't even, you didn't even look around. To where the cart yeah, car was. Yeah, what car would I have been driving? It, it, what car would I have been driving? Well, I don't know that, ma'am. It wasn't me. It was one of the other agents. Oh, but, okay. Why don't you ask your agent what car I listen, would have been driving? Listen, ma'am, you don't have to have an attitude with me. You're the one leaving your cart out all the time, just <laughs> leaving it out there, letting it slam into other cars all willy-nilly. That would be Why 100% you... incorrect, sir. Yeah, that would yeah. be incorrect, Yeah, that's sir. what all the guilty people say. They're always yeah. like, I that's didn't okay. do it. I was framed. Mm -hmm. Somebody else what did it. What can I do for you, sir? I uh, was just hoping that maybe you could uh, make a commitment to put your carts away from now on. Not a problem. Okay, I'm glad y that you've seen the light. Hopefully you'll put your carts away from now on. You won't lie about it when confronted. Sure. Usually, usually we like to confront you in person. I don't lie. So, anywho, well, is there anything else I can do for you today, yeah, sir? Man, that's something a liar would say. I don't lie. Come on. We can see right through these lies. Okay. Is there anything else I can do for you today, sir? Uh, no, no, just uh, please put your carts away from now on and stop being such a lazy bones. Okay, have a great day. Bye-bye. Right. You too, goodbye. What I've noticed is not a single person has made a comment about me saying woot woot, skiddly woot. And by the way, is it woot woot with a T or is it whoop whoop with a P? I'm too lazy to go to the Cartnarks page and check even though I have the Cartnarks page open. But fuck that. We'll just let it be a mystery. It'll be one of those many words that I'm always mispronouncing all the time, like kiosk and anomalies and woot woot skilly woot. Those are my top three mispronounced words. Another thing that not a single person has asked about yet is how did you get my phone number? Like how would we have their phone number if we just saw them at the grocery store? I guess because we're a highly group of specialized agents that knows how to get phone numbers of people. Hello? Hey, whoop whoop skilly whoop 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 Douglas. Yeah. It's uh, Sebastian from the Cartnarks. Okay. I, I, I imagine you've been expecting this call. Uh, I don't know, know what you're talking about. Okay, well, I haven't got to that yet. We saw you at the, at the store, and you brought your cart out, loaded up your groceries or whatever, and you left your cart in a spot. That's when? It. Uh, a few days ago, and that's very frowned upon here at the Cartnarks Command Central, and we're just calling to ask you to please don't do that again. All right, whatever. Well, no, no, you, you, you need to agree to this. This is a verbal agreement that you will never be a lazy bones and leave your cart out there again. You know, I always park my cart someplace where it's supposed to be. Yeah, but so, you know what? A parking space is not a place that it's supposed to be. I yeah, no, I don't leave my cart there. There is a special space that you put it in. It's called the you cart. Got the, you got the wrong. You got the wrong person because I don't leave my carts there. I put them away. So, uh, 
Yeah, but you don't put them away in the cart corral. You know the the, the cart return place. It's a couple... yeah. The last time I put it, yeah, the last time I put it up by the door. Yeah, look, I know, I know that the cart corral is technically a parking space because it is in a parking space, but there yeah, are okay. rails. There are rails that protects the other cars. Man, I think I would actually make a really good cart narc agent. Except I'm kind of fat. I don't think I could run away from all of the people. So I might get tased a little more often than Sebastian. Punched in the face and stuff. I should probably just stick to prank calls. That's probably for the best. Good luck, Johnny. Hello. Hi, uh, Whoop Whoop Skittly Molina. Uh, yes, how can I help you? Hey, uh, this is uh, Sebastian from the Cart Narcs. Uh, we saw you over at the 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 store. You you know you brought your shopping cart out and put your groceries away, but you uh, did a curb maneuver on your shopping cart. You didn't put it away. You put it up on the curb. What on earth are you talking about? Uh, when you were at the store, <laughs> you, you know you you instead of putting your cart into the the cart corral, you know the cart return, they they provide several what of store? those all around the parking lot. What store are you talking about? Uh the grocery store. And, uh, you know, you just, like, whenever you, uh, you know, bring your groceries to I the car. I have no idea what store you're talking about. Yeah, me either. But just make sure you always put your cart away because it's very uncool to leave your cart no, out like that. I haven't been shopping with a shopping cart in a very long time, so I'm well, sure that this is not me. No, no, you're just, you've been a complete lazy bones uh, recently when you went to the grocery store. We know you've been there. You don't have to deny it. No reason to lie. We're just. Whoa, hey, what, what's, why are you doing that? Was your screaming fucking kid not loud enough? Had to hit some touch tones at me. Hello. Hi, Carmen. Yes. Hey, whoop whoop skiddly whoop. This is Agent Sebastian from the Cart Narcs. Who? <laughs> I, I'm with the Cart Narcs. I, we we saw you at the grocery store. You didn't put your cart away. I don't know who you are. Yeah, I'm. I just told you I'm Agent Sebastian. I'm just calling to let you know you forgot to put your shopping cart away. Just calling to let you know about. I wasn't even at. I wasn't even at the store. I don't know who you are. Well, not today, ma'am. I'm just saying, like, be mindful of your fellow human beings and put your cart away from now on. We haven't even been in town. I'm not sure who you are. Goodbye, ma'am. Everybody's all holed up in their houses, not leaving anymore. Damn this pandemic. Hello. Whoop whoop, Skilly John. Yes, speaking. Hey there, it's uh, Agent Sebastian from the Cart Narcs. From the what? From the Cart Narcs, you know, the, at the grocery store. You were at the grocery store doing some uh, shopping and you left your cart out. You didn't put your cart back in the cart corral. You're being a big old lazy bones. What are you talking about? Uh, we, when you were at the, the, you know, the store, you left your, uh, your shopping cart out. When, so. when was supposed to be uh well i think you know when it was I i'm just calling to let you know to Dude, please I just got out of the hospital i had a hip replacement so oh. shut the fuck up hey don't don't curse at me sir what the hell why are all these people elderly that's not usually how this list is i mean it's older people but they're not all getting hip replacements usually yelling at me about it it's not my fault i didn't break your damn hip <laughs> louise yes hello hey it's uh it's Sebastian from the Cart Narcs. The Card Narcs? Cart Narcs. You were uh are... l you left your shopping cart out in instead of putting it away in the cart corral when you're at the store. <laughs> you're just a big old You got to be kidding. You're a big old lazy bones. Nope, we're calling up everyone that leaves the cart out and asking them to please Put their cart away when they're finished. You can't just leave it out there like that. That causes a problem. Wait. Run, runs into cars. Cart, where where was it? Blocks. Uh, you left it right there in in the parking spot, in a parking space. Luckily, one of uh, one of our specially trained agents was able to to grab it and put it away for you before it rolled into someone else's car and caused any damage. So we got you there. We you know we. Where, Very where, lucky. What store was it? What store was it? Uh, it doesn't say that on here on my report, but you know, just it, it, at any store, it doesn't matter which store it is. Every store you go no, to, I'm you gotta, trying to. Re I, I, I know, but when gotta, did this happen? Ah, uh, just recently, like this past week. You got, you got to always put your cart away. Like, d just d don't. 
Who who no. are you? Who uh, are you? My name is Sebastian. I work for the Cartnarks. I'm a highly specialized, <laughs> uh, you know, trained agent. We we go around and we keep an eye on people. Usually, I would uh, come up to you in the parking well, how lot. Did but you get, how how did you get my number? I wondered when someone was going to ask that. Uh, you know, we we've got our connections. We're a highly specialized uh, organiz organization, and uh, we we have our methods, but. You know, we, we caught you. You didn't put your card away. You better start putting your card away from now on. Don't be such a lazy bones. Oh, my goodness. Do you have any... Uh, so, yeah, I, I don't... What? I, 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 it's, you're catching me by surprise here, but yep. today I haven't been myself because my back has been really bad. I went to the of course. store to get some, some medication for it, but... Um, I normally am very good about putting my cart in the in the thing, but you're right. I don't remember driving it into the little, you know, place where the carts go in the parking lot. Yeah, yeah, you're kind but of a lazy bum. I might have done it. I might have done. Oh no, we... I might have done it, and this may just be a a big phony phone call. Oh no, no, we're we're never, uh, we don't I've, make phony phony phone calls, ma'am. We 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 don't have time for that. A we have legitimate. Uh, place that oh, calls oh. people about this? Oh, yeah, yeah. Look us up on the internet. We're the cart narcs. And uh, usually we would go up to you in person and say, hey, ma'am, you need to put that cart away. But we weren't able to get to you in time. We were dealing with another customer that didn't put their cart away. So we missed you, but we were still able to call. Huh. But it's okay. Wow. I mean, you don't, you don't need to feel bad or anything. It's just, uh, you know, just maybe in the future try to put your cart away. Because those carts, they, they, they roll away. The wind catches them. They'll, they'll smash right into a Yeah, into a little, I know. I, yeah. They'll run over a I, little kid. I totally, get the, I, I totally get the logic of the whole thing. I've yeah. just never heard of anybody getting a phone call about it. Yeah, yeah. You might Your cart yeah. might like run over a toddler. Oh, yeah. I'm, I, yeah. It's, it's happened. Yeah. Yeah, I, I've, I, you know, th throughout I, my career here at the Cart Narcs, I have saved three toddlers from certain death from people like you. Wow. Mm -hmm. Not people like me, because I I don't normally do that. I'm well, not that. that that's I'm I'm not that irresponsible. That's what they all but, say. But you know, there's there's an exception in in just about everything so that was my one exception okay so this is this is a first time thing it. it's not like i'm one of those people i'm not that okay way, well no you know? i wasn't i wasn't trying to right to... now i'm talking i the only reason i'm talking to you this long is because i'm i've taken some pain pills for my stupid back oh and, nice how are you feeling you feeling pretty good <laughs> now i am but <laughs> i don't like hearing that somebody you know you know, is calling me about something like that because I do feel bad about it. Yeah. But, you hey, know. On a scale of one to ten, how amazing are those pain pills? Mm, I don't know. They're not. They're not that great. Yeah. <laughs> you, you should like go. May, maybe take an take an extra one and then you know listen to to some uh, some really chill music. Maybe watch some cartoons. Just have make a day of it. Have some fun. <laughs> You deserve it. <laughs> oh my God, you're cracking me up. Maybe write some poetry. Okay, well, write some poetry I while you're on those pain pills. So I still, I still want to know how you got my phone number. Oh, uh, you know, we, uh, we, 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 uh, we, we're connected with a lot of companies. We have access to a lot of databases. We didn't hack anything. That's very important to point out because I've had some problems with that in the past. Uh, there, there was no hacking of any databases. No illegal logons. We just uh, we just looked it up on the internet, ma'am. I, I was trying to make it sound cooler yeah, than I, it is. I googled it. I googled it, and it says cart narks are shaming people who don't put their carts away. Yeah, that's and what we do. And then some guy, some guy has something here that says, "I will shoot the cart nark." <laughs> <laughs> oh, you should you should then, you should just watch those until your pain pills wear off. Just watch the cart narks all all day. And then there's a potty mouth screams at the cart narc. Oh, yeah. Yeah, people chase us around. We've been threatened with uh, knives and stun guns. Wow. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a dangerous so job I, out here. Well, but Maybe we, 
maybe you should just, you know, like, uh, do you guys walk around in the parking lot? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we saw you. We just, uh, you know, we, we we weren't able to catch you just in time because I was, I was dealing with some other lazy bones. Okay, so uh, so how did you get my phone number? Uh, we looked it up on the internet, ma'am. No. Okay. No, how can you do that? By my license number or what? Yeah, yeah, by the license plate. We just put your license plate into licenseplatelookup.com, and there's your phone number. It's easy. Uh, you know, this internet, it's scary these days. You can get anything. Licenseplatelookup.com. Yeah, yeah, just just look it up. You'll see it there. It's it's crazy time we live in where you, when you can just look up somebody by their license plate number. But anyway, I got to get going. I got a bunch of other people, a bunch of other lazy bones to call. I hope you really enjoy those pain pills, ma'am. Yeah, I hope you enjoy your job. Oh, I do. I, I love working for Cartnarx. It's pretty, mm. pretty much my favorite job ever. I've been here for uh, mm. six years now. Mm. I've never uh, heard of anybody getting called by Cartnarx. Ah, well, this is the first. And maybe you should warn your friends. Say, listen, I know usually we're a happy band of lazy bones and we, we never put our carts away. But now there's people out there that are looking us up and shaming us and stuff. Hmm. Okay. All right. I'm I'm glad you learned your lesson, ma'am. I'm I'm sure you won't do it again. <laughs> I'm sure I won't. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Have a nice day. Write some poetry. Bye-bye. Watch watch some cartoons. Watch the cartnarks. <laughs> okay. All right. Cartnarks out. Bye bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Well, that lady was a lot of fun. I want to hang out with her while she takes her pain pills and writes her poetry. Hello. Hey, Joel. Yes. I'm Tim Henson. I'm with the Cartnarks. With the whom? Sorry, that voice hurts my throat. Uh, this is Tim Henson from the Cartnarks. Uh, we saw you uh, not put your shopping cart into the cart corral over at the store. You, you just left it up on the curb like a big old lazy bones. <laughs> you think maybe you could uh, try and take your carts back from now on? Step up my game, huh? Yeah, well, you know, just just be a decent human being, basically. Just put your cart away. (laughs) Okay, now who is this? Uh, This is uh, Tim Henson from the cart. Yeah, from the cart narcs. From the cart narcs. Yes. Okay. Yes, and we we, uh, one of one of our uh, specially trained agents observed you leaving your cart out after you put your groceries in the car. So which. Which day was this? Ah, uh, it was a couple days ago. I don't know. A couple but, days ago. Yep. I'm just calling to let you know to please not do that. Please put your cart away. You're you're not helping anybody. You're not you're not creating jobs by leaving your cart out. Well, I mean you are, but not useful jobs. Just stop being lazy bones is what I'm saying, okay? Oh wow. I'm glad yeah, you think I, this is funny. Well, but I, I I have to say I have to say that I I, I can't say that I've never done that, but mm. I can't I haven't done it I haven't done it recently. So well, you probably just blocked I, it I, out or something. <laughs> we, we saw you like you don't like I, I'm. This isn't a random call. We're calling you. We saw you do this. <laughs> well, uh, you've been caught. Yeah. Just, just admit it. You've been yeah, caught. I, I, you're guilty. I've been caught. Yes. Yeah. How do you plead? So where, where guilty or not guilty? What, what store was it? Uh it wasn't me that caught you. It, it was oh. uh, one of our highly specialized trained agents. But I don't think your documentation is very complete. Why do you say that? Well, you're you're not able to tell me where I was. Well, it sounds like you're just trying to get information out of me, like you're an identity thief. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so oh. funny. Leaving your cart out. Yeah. But you know who didn't think it was funny? Mary Stuman. Because your cart rolled over and bumped into her and into her door. Not so funny mm-hmm. now, is it? Yeah, that would not be good. Yeah. It, it didn't leave a mark, luckily. But she was not happy. 
We explained to her that we would call you and let you know that you need to put your card away from now on. So please do that. Because we promised Mary that you would. Yep, not laughing now, are we? No, but I, you know, I, I don't think this is legit because you want to give up the name of the of the other party. So well, I don't, I, this was for real. Didn't give up the name. I gave you the name, Mary Stuman. Exactly, but you wouldn't do that if this was for real because you wouldn't want it. Oh, I'm for real. You look us up on the internet. Look up the cart narks. Cart narks. Yeah, cart narks. We nark out people who are lazy bones and don't put their carts away, and we publicly shame them. Unfortunately, we couldn't get to you when you were in the parking lot. We were busy with another customer who was also being a lazy bones, just like you. Yeah. But we got your mm-hmm. license plate, so we are able to call you at least. Mm. So, I don't uh, think that I have a... What? Yeah. What? You don't think you have a what? No, I don't even know if my car is registered in my name, so I don't know if that would do it. Oh, it'll do it. We know what we're doing here. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, uh, I just need a quick apology, and I'll let you go. Yeah, well, seriously, I don't remember not. You know, I don't remember uh, getting the not getting the cart put away. So you don't remember? Well, that's okay because we have a camera, know. and we remember for you. We saw you do it. You definitely yeah. did it. Go ahead and apologize. I'll let Mary know that you've been dealt with. And hopefully you'll be a better person in the future. Yeah. Well. Ready, yeah. set, three, two, one. Apologize. Apologize. Yeah. Did was that an apology or are you just but, repeating me? Was repeating? It, yeah, I'm just yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a little hard to apologize for something I really don't know what I did. So. Oh no, I told you what you I, did. You I left mean, your I'm, card out. It, it uh, the wind caught it a little yeah, bit and it ran over and. Uh, Bumped into Mrs. Stuman's Blue Ford. Blue Ford. More details here. Yeah, yeah. But it, I right. don't know what store it was. Well, do you, I guess you leave your cart out at a lot of stores then. If you don't remember which one it was, maybe you need to stop doing that. Well, I'm, I'm not as young as I used to be, so I, to remember exactly all the details was... Yeah, well, you don't have to remember the details. Just put your put your damn card away whenever you're finished with it. Well, yeah, that's take. Yeah, typically it takes to the cart corral. Yeah, yeah, but but the one day that we just happened to see you, you didn't take it back. Hmm. Imagine that. No, yeah, I don't think so. What do you mean you don't think so? The camera doesn't lie, sir. Yeah, you have you have a well. I noticed you haven't you apologized yet. You can text me the picture of it. Uh, yeah, the camera. I don't want to. Quit, quit making this harder than it needs to be. Just, just, just put your carts away. All right. No, I yeah, I, I, I'm all for putting carts away. Then why don't you do it, sir? Well, I'm not convinced that I did it. Being a big old lazy bones. Anyway, I have other people mm-hmm. to call and shame and everything, and you're you're just kind of not really dealing with the the issue at hand here so i guess i can let you go but i hope that you will think about this in the future and if you want to avoid future phone calls just put your damn card away yeah yeah i god damn it don't want uh, yeah i don't want to cause uh unrest or anything like that yeah yeah it'll be anarchy what if everyone did this what if everyone was a big old lazy bones like you yeah. I'm glad you've seen the light. Thank you very much, sir, for listening to me. Have a nice day. Yep, yeah, you too. Cart narks out. Bye. Don't sound so disappointed that I caught you. You know, it, it's it's a uh, you, you keep doing stuff like that, you're gonna get caught. It's a mathematical fact. The odds are against you, sir. Sir. Well, he just sounded kind of depressed that he was finally getting called out for his crimes. Hello. Hi, Jennifer. Mm-hmm. Hey, whoop whoop, skiddly whoop whoop. This is Sebastian from the Cartnarks. From the Cartnarks? Yeah, you left your cart out at the store. You know, you put your groceries in the car, 
And then you just left the cart out. You didn't even put it in the cart corral. So I'm calling to let you know. Oh, okay. There she goes. I think I'm going to leave that one in there just because she said from the cart narcs. That almost sounded like a public service announcement the way she said that. I am about to stop, though. It's getting late. Nobody's getting angry with me. I do like all the confusion that this has caused. And I guess that one guy did get pretty angry with me earlier, but he just kind of yelled and quickly hung up on me. And I can't call him back because my phone doesn't have a redial button on it. Hello. Hi, Diana. Yes. Hey, uh, whoop, whoop, Skilly, whoop, 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 whoop. This is uh, Agent Sebastian from the Cart Narcs. Who is this? Agent Sebastian from the Cart Narcs. Uh, we saw you over at the grocery store, and you didn't put your cart away. <laughs> so, Who is this? Uh, this is Agent Sebastian from the Cart Narcs. It's the third time I've told you that. No. What do you mean, No. Look, I, I know that I'm kind of a famous person, kind of a big deal, but I do call up customers like this. I'm I'm not above I'm not above the grunt work here, ma'am. I'm just trying to make the world a better place and save it from lazy bones people like you. Leaving their Who is this? You're leaving your carts out. I've told you three times, ma'am. I don't really think I need to say it again. But uh I, I'm basically just calling I'm I'm hoping that you can maybe not be such a lazy bones in the future and put your cart away <laughs> who is this it's not funny ma'am you keep asking me who this is i keep telling you that i've already told you my name is sebastian you, you can call me seabass i'm with the cart narcs <laughs> i am cracking up yeah yeah it sounds like that's some really good marijuana you got there ma'am but that's no excuse. Okay, you leaving. have to tell me who this is. Oh, my God. I've told you so many times. Just put your damn cart away. When you go to the store, it doesn't go in a parking spot. Oh, she hung up. I thought she had a great sense of humor, and she thinks I'm hilarious. But as soon as I say the D word, it's game over for the cart narcs. So let's do, like, one more, I guess. I'm just going to try a few more of these until I get one answer and see if they react any differently, which they probably won't. But, you know, that's, that's what it's like, narketeers, being a cart narc. Some days, people just, uh, you know, they won't see the light. It's kind of a shame, you know. You have reached the voicemail box of... Or they dodge your calls, you know, they see the cart narcs come up on their caller ID. Or, you know, Tim Henson. And they don't answer. They're like, oh shit, it's Tim Henson from Distorted View. I don't need this today. They just let the machine get it. Hi, this is Susan. Hey, Susan. Yes. Whoop, whoop, skiddly whoop. This is uh, Sebastian from the Cart Narcs. And we saw I'm sorry, you from where? The Cart Narcs. We saw you at the store. You put your groceries in the car, and then you left your cart out in in the middle of a parking space. And after you drove away, it rolled out into the aisle. The, a car had to stop. You had to get out and move it. Cause your Actually, no, you didn't. Oh, yeah. So. No, no, no. I didn't. The customer had to. But we we no we, we saw I, the whole I had three items in my bag. No, ma sorry, ma you're wrong, ma'am. No, I am not wrong. I'm with the cart narcs. Oh, do I really want that to be the last call? I was okay with that one. I think. I guess I could just do one more, right? Just a quick one, like that one was. Hers was too quick. That's why I'm calling another one. This is Valjean. Hey, Valjean. Uh, this is Sebastian from the cart narcs. Whoop whoop, skilly whoop. From what? The cart narcs. We saw you uh, load up your car with your groceries and stuff, and then you just left your cart your cart out. You didn't take it back to the cart return. I'm just calling to let you know to please not be lazy bones and return your carts. Where was that? At the store. The store you went to. Which store? A few, a few days ago. Which store? I don't How many know. days ago? Listen, we patrol a lot of parking lots, ma'am. Well. But... <laughs> Yeah, real funny. I have no idea Leaving... because I don't do that. Oh yes, you do. We, the, the camera does not lie, ma'am. We we saw it roll right out into the middle of the aisle. A car had to stop. the The customer had to get out and move your cart because you're a lazy bones. You left it out there and it just rolled away. Luckily, it didn't hurt anybody. I want to know how you got my phone number. Can you speak up? It's hard to hear you. What are we on speaker or something? 
Yeah, how do you get my phone number? Uh, we have our ways, ma'am. We're a team of highly specialized, trained agents. I think I said that right okay, this time. Okay. And yeah, we we yeah, have we have sound, what? Yeah, you sound like it. You sound totally unprofessional. Whatever. Hey, hey, hey! At least I put my carts away. You know what? I'm not a big old lazy bones like you. You you can go ahead and deflect all you want, but it doesn't change the fact that you're. I think I'm talking too much. I'm not giving them really a chance to say much. It's all my fault that they're not able to yell at me because I just won't shut the fuck up. Because you know me, I get really passionate about this cart stuff, being a specially trained agent of the cart narcs. I think I've been saying that wrong throughout this entire show. I keep messing that up. And I obviously don't sound professional. But I think I'm done with this. I had a lot of fun doing it. I hope you enjoyed listening to it. I hope it wasn't too boring and repetitive because it's basically the same thing over and over and over. Just like on the Cart Narcs channel at youtube.com slash the cart narcs channel thing i don't actually know what their url is i don't think they have one but go to youtube search for the cart narcs i'd like to remind everyone once again that i am not affiliated with the cart narcs i don't even know the cart narcs i am just a fan of what they do on their channel the cart narcs is a way of life everybody should love the cart narcs everybody should watch them subscribe to them smash that like button and ring the bell and most importantly, don't be one of those people that leaves your cart out. I'm sure that I have done that in the past. I didn't disclose this to the cart narcs when I applied to be a narcoteer. Wait, no, I'm not a narcoteer. I'm an agent. I'm a secret agent with highly specialized training. But I can imagine I might have been a lot lazier back in my much younger days and not returned my cart. But I always return my cart now. I'm fat. I need the exercise. That's the only reason I do it. And I would like to brag that I actually have, in real life, shamed people for leaving their carts out. I don't go to the extreme links that the cart narcs do, pissing them off and making them chase me around the parking lot just for fun. Usually it's just a snide comment as I'm walking by, like, Wow, you're so lazy. Look at that. I don't wait for a reply. I just keep walking. I think it's been years since I've done that, since I've noticed anybody leaving their carts out. Like I said, I don't really go to the store anymore. I just go to the pickup area and get my groceries and leave. Going to the store is so 2018, but the cart narcs seem to have no shortage of material. So once again, visit the cart narcs on YouTube. They're hilarious. Now let's listen to some voicemails. This is the part where you just tune out. Just turn off the show. It's over. We're just going to listen to voicemails. That's all. You don't want to hear these, do you? Hey, Patrick. It's Brad hey. from Oregon, and I'm just kind of uh-huh. kind of confused and upset. I never double up on messages. That's a Corbin guy thing. I'm not Corbin guy. Totally is. You know, I try to be better than that. It's a lot of people um, thing. So making the second phone call, the reason I'm calling now is to apologize for the second phone call. Oh, okay. And one call is enough. Well, Multiple phone calls. I'm playing this one because it is the latest message that I received. I'm probably not going to play the other one or even listen to it. So stupid you doubling up on those messages. Multiple messages. It's, that was a waste of your much. time. So this phone call is just apologizing for this phone call. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Hope Patrick. Make good choices. And have very, good very nice of Bye. you. I appreciate the honesty. And in return, I was honest with you about how I just deleted your message. Hey, Brad, your other one. Bad cat. Long time, no voicemail. Hey, bad to answer cat. Answer your Gmail question that you most definitely wanted answered. Yeah. Uh, to to find the starred items in your box, just just go into the search thing and do is star. Oh, I know that. Colon. No, I know. I know uh, you can do that. Sure, that will return it. There's definitely you can do an is starred and then some. I don't know what the syntax is, but yeah, if you want to look for the start items in your Gmail. I didn't think about looking it up that way, though. That is pretty obvious. I know I could do that. I, I just thought it would be cool if you could have all the starred emails of that particular folder up on the top. You know, those are the ones that you see first, like in your inbox. You only see the unread messages first, and then it shows you everything else. If you set it up that way, it'd be nice if you could put the stars up on top. Maybe you can. I thought you used to be able to, but I looked everywhere and I couldn't figure that out. That might be nice. I don't really use stars anymore, though. I gave up. Uh, It's definitely a function. Uh, Anyway, glad uh, glad you guys figured out anyway. Have a good one. Thanks. You know, another thing that Gmail does not do, I just found out recently, because this seems like a really obvious thing that a lot of people might want. I get email notifications from Mixler all day, every day, and I have to manually delete them. You know, just those emails that say, hey, guess who's going live? It's Daisy or it's Prank Call Nation. 
or Falcon Live, they're the ones that are on right now as I'm recording and missing it. But why can't we say that every Mixler email I get doesn't just get deleted in five hours from when it was sent? Because I don't need to see those emails if I miss them initially. And I know I could turn off emails because I often turn off my cell phone notifications because I don't like the phone beeping at me when I'm trying to record things. So having the emails, I, I want the emails. I just wish I could delete them and not have to actually open them. That'd be nice. But I did some Googling on that, and apparently it is not possible to do. It's a bunch of bullshit. Come on, Google. Get with it. Pradad, 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 Pradad. Hey. Oh, I, hey, Pradad, hey. You sound kind of depressed. Is everything okay, Nobby guy? Your Brad, 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 Brad didn't have the usual oomph. I'm very concerned about you. Should we, should we do root of how you've got all your different rules to do with prank calls? Uh -huh. Should we put more rules up in relation to the coronavirus? Oh, because rules. I think, I think there might be, I think there might be more, I guess more rules, like not, not to prank someone about the COVID virus or yeah. anything like that. Yeah. And this is me trying my new phone as well. Hope it works okay. It sounds great. Bye. You sound really good. And I mean that. And I think, don't the existing rules of prank calling over at phonelosers.org slash rules have something in there that covers COVID calls? Or maybe I don't. Like, I think I'd have something in there. You know, like, it basically says don't cause people to panic. And telling people that they have COVID could cause them to panic. You know, we don't want to panic people. Not for that, anyway. We just want to panic them thinking they didn't return their shopping cart. Something more innocent and fun. So maybe you're right. I should look the rules over and see if there's anything in there that covers it and maybe rewrite some stuff. I've been meaning to simplify those rules and put them up on worldprankcalls.com and also just kind of shorten them up on phone losers, too. Brad, god damn it, it's the goat man from Bowie, Maryland. The Duke man. And I live in the woods. I'm a scientific experiment gone wrong. Fun. Look it up. No. It's on... Hey, looking up shit. The, the internet. Boo goat man. Okay, I'll go look on the internet. Well, I bought one of your shirts. The Sensei Doug shirt. Mm hmm. And people love it. I get asked about it all the time. People out in the woods? And I tell them, go to Phone Losers and listen to Brad. Yeah. You should. He's well, I appreciate good. that. You hear that? It's rhymes. And the goat man likes to rhyme. Yeah. Bye, Brad. Well, that's awesome. I'm glad everybody likes it. You know, they probably just like you, and they're just using the shirt as an excuse to talk to you because you're so likable. That would be my guess. It's not the shirt. They just know you got a new shirt, and they want to talk to you because people enjoy talking to scientific experiments gone wrong. Hey, Brad. Dr. Oj calling. Hey. Uh, long time no voicemail. Anyway, I was thinking mm -hmm. it would be hilarious if you call people and say it works really well if you have their address you know, to confirm where you're going to send the thank you card, but tell them thank you for donating to the Trump campaign mm -hmm. and tell them that you need to uh, confirm their address and, you know, read out their address to them. And they'll be like, what? No, I didn't. I didn't. That sounds like I would no, just. No, no, yeah, we have it right here. I would just have a telemarketing job. That sounds like actual work. And I tried doing something like that, I don't know, a few years ago, I remember, hoping to get some people that would just be horrified at the thought of supporting Trump or whatever. But I think everybody I reached loved Trump. Probably just the area of the United States that I was calling at the time. It did not go well. So, yeah, maybe I should try that again someday soon. Hey, Brad Haley's Comet, currently hey. residing in New England. And I've got a bit of a conundrum. The state of New England. Tim Henson of the Story of You show has yeah. been asking for my mother's phone number so he can prank call her. But okay. the problem is, I'm pretty sure... Tim Henson sounds pretty sketchy to me. What the hell, Tim? Trying to get grandma phone numbers? You're into grandmas now? Actually, that sounds exactly like me now that you think about one it. One of my siblings is a distorted view listener as well, or at least a Tonetta <laughs> fan, so there's a real risk of crossover there, and I don't want to cause family drama. They wouldn't so, just think it's funny? Do you think it would be a faux pas if I sent you an email with my mother's contact information so you could prank call her? Oh, because my show's not good enough for your extended family to listen to. I see what you're saying. Tim's better than me. I get it. I see what you're saying. And hell yeah, send me your grandma's number. Maybe I'll share it with Tim. 
You don't think your family would appreciate that, though? Like, if you made your grandma get some bizarre, hilarious call, and then you could show your family on the Distorted View show, in between the cum fart audio and the bukkake reviews, be like, look at this, family. I let this man make a hilarious prank to my grandma. And then they keep listening to the show where Tim's making fun of retarded people. I don't see what could go wrong. Hey, Brad. It's the Press Mashed Potatoes. Hey. I was wondering, can I change my- You know what you could do? You could say, Tim. If you're going to prank call my grandma, you have to do it on a sideshow. Because your family, they're not supporters of Tim's, right? Maybe they just listen to the regular show. They're not listening to all the sideshows, are they? I can barely listen to all the sideshows. I can't keep up with his show. That's what you should do. I'm sorry, Depressed Mashed Potatoes, that Haley's comment interrupted you there. Name, Go ahead. Depressed Mashed Potatoes is kind of a mouthful. Can I be like Angry Burrito? Is that okay? Yeah. But anyway, yeah, that wasn't that. my call. I was just calling to ask you if you uh, still have the list of elevator phone numbers I gave you. I think it's I been sure about do. a year I sent that to you. Yeah. And I just want to know if you still had it. Actually, I not only have the list, I pasted it into my notebook when you first gave it to me. And I have also uh, looked at some resources on the internets that I knew about that had a bunch of elevator phone numbers on them, like the old uh, Binrev forums. They had a list of them there, and I took a bunch off of there. I called a bunch and I deleted all the ones that were non-working numbers, but I never actually had a lot of luck getting through to people in the elevator, which is too bad because that is a lot of fun if you can get an elevator that has a lot of people in and out of it because, you know, you can talk to them and pretend you're an automated elevator. Be like, please state the floor that you would like to go to and make them yell it louder and louder. I've had some fun with elevators in the past, and it's too bad I hardly ever recorded any of it. But yes, I would like to call your elevator list. I know exactly where it is. I need to get back on that soon and just find one that's actually busy. And if you're ever going to do anything with it. I know, you're a busy man. you got a ton of requests. Yeah. All right. Thank you. I you're love welcome. You always. Bye. Bye, Angry Burrito. I like your new name, and I'll seriously try to get to that list soon. Try it again, I mean. If any of you out there have good elevator numbers, because you know every elevator in the United States apparently has to have a phone number connected to it, some kind of silly safety law or whatever, and if you call that number, you are automatically connected to the people in the elevator, or their phone rings, and they have to pick up the phone, but most of them have speaker phones in them. Hi Brad, little Winker 34. Hey. Hey, have you heard of this? Uh, these uh, people yeah. on the YouTube, yeah. I think they're called cart narcs. They, oh, yeah. They get on people's cases of people who don't put the carts back. I have heard about them. I was them. just thinking that, that'd make for a really funny show. You should yeah. like call as them, you know, and That's a great pretend idea. you're the cart narc guys and harass people. I don't think I'll ever do that, though. Bye. I don't want to get sued by the cart narcs. I've heard how they have their own Saul Goodman. I don't want any trouble. Brad. Free water. Jenny's new area code. Flip all the switches. Uh, yeah, Why haven't you taken some of that Patreon money? Those are songs. And get some studio sessions and put out a studio PLA album. Okay. You have like a great musical talent. Oh, you. Thanks. All right, Brad. Keep all up right. the good, I'll good try. shows. Bye. I'm just slowly putting the album together. I've been creating songs for the past 15 years or so, and eventually. I'm going to have enough original material out of these songs to put out an album. So any day now, I should have enough. I, don't, I think I have maybe three right now that I can use. Possibly four. This is some dude. Did you know I have a dude? And his name is Dude. Okay. All right. All right. Just wanted to let you know. Thanks for the voicemail. That's my favorite one so far. RB, this is Bandit's Mail Stripper. I just wanted to tell you really quick about this audio. It's actually an audio drama. I'm oh, I know what you're going to talk about. about it. It's called Freaks. Yeah, and it's about this girl. That uh, it's an audible book, right? A uh, few people have posted that on the PLA group, and I think someone posted it on the Reddit. And it sounds good. I've heard it's a really good thing. And I should probably just stop interrupting you and let you talk she's about. A blind it. girl, so she has perfect pitch, and she figures out how to um, how to blue box. Yeah, so that's what they call. It. I thought it was red boxing, but she figures that figures out how to no, it's blue, blue box, box. Uh, a payphone. It's a, it's like a single frequency, and it's can, not just a payphone. That you can blue box from, you could blue box from any phone. And there was really a guy that could do that. His name was Joe. He could whistle blue box tones. Do the note, and uh, it's it, it, it's really good. It just it made me think of phone losers. Yeah, uh, you, you may have already heard about it. It's on a it's on a popular uh, Audible. Uh, uh, Say uh, it. 
Audible. Audiobook company. I don't want to say the name because I don't want to. I'm not here to advertise for anybody. Else. Oh come I on! Tell you about it. It's on it's Audible, everyone. And it makes me think of phone losers. This voicemail and, is brought uh, to you by Audible. It's fun to listen to, and they prank call, and it's really good. Yeah, so I would highly recommend that. You oh, they do prank calls. That's the awesome. Phone loser listeners, check it out. It's called Freaks with a PH Natch. Bye. Yeah, I've been meaning to listen to that. I kind of completely forgot about it. And I don't even have an Audible account. I guess I need to sign up for one. I know they give you a free trial. I'm not really an audiobook person. I like the real books. But I like this new thing they're trying. Kind of like the old-timey radio dramas, but with phone freaking and prank calls. What a great idea. I think somebody in our community needs to do that. Hello, RBCP. This is Q12 from the great the great state of Texas here. Yep. I'm going to work as a pizza man, and I was thinking about getting some pizza phone numbers and just dispersing it all over the internet or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, but why not? You, you didn't hear from me. Oh, the police is here. Bye. Fuck. If any of you police would like that guy's phone number, just ask for it. I'll give it to you. Roy, what's up, buddy? I ain't your buddy. Curious pal. Hartford, Connecticut. Hey. I just listened to uh, you talk to a guy who you tried to sell black chickens to. Mm -hmm. And he wasn't liking that very much. And then he had a state trooper friend. Oh, no. And you just lovingly made him look like an idiot. <laughs> and I don't remember this. so happy because he was like, oh, I got you with this. And you're like, oh, what are you going to do? Put the scare in me? <laughs> Bro. Sounds like something I would I'm say. Is the, the chess moves of just making people look like idiots with their own words. Oh. Bravo, sir. Keep up the good work. You guys paying me compliments in the voicemails, making me blush. Hi, Roy. It's me, Natalia Sarai, from Mother Russia, a.k.a. Hey. North Carolina. You got a phone call. phone call. And I pick that up. Say, great job on all your shows. Um, I recently Thanks. had some uh, financial uh, situations. And you, you can still afford a landline, though, right? I will no longer be able to give you $5 a month on Patreon. Ah, I'm going to raise it up to $6. Son of a bitch. Oh, okay. So thank you for all of your work. Have a great day. That's Bye. awesome. I get $6 now instead of 5 I think everyone should follow her example. Natalia, whatever, from Mother Russia. You didn't seriously have a landline phone ringing in the background while you're leaving me a voicemail, did you? That had to be just a, a thing you were playing, right? People don't just have old Western electric phones sitting around ringing. It's crazy talk. I'm just going to apologize. Except for me. I'm such a stupid motherfucker. That's okay. And sending my list to four different places. I hope everybody can learn from my mistake. Yep. And Don't be a Sensei Paul, everybody. So, just gone. Bad job out of me. Love you. Talk to you later. <laughs> okay. Mwah. Mwah. Yeah, I'm sure I was just, uh, you know, being a dick. You have given us some really good lists in the past. You send us the Sensei Doug stuff, right? I just like to complain about every little thing. That's all. Don't take it personally. I'm going to stop doing voicemails, not because I'm tired of them, but because it says I've been recording voicemails for 26 minutes. I don't know if that's going to be true or not after I finish editing, but these are getting kind of long. I should probably stop. So woot woot, skiddly woot, everyone. Thanks for listening to our special Cartnarks edition of the Snowplow Show. Once again, please go visit the Cartnarks on YouTube. It'll change your life. And if you click on one of their videos and it kind of sucks, don't give up on it because they do have videos that are just kind of not the best, you know, like they just don't get the greatest reactions. It's like some of the prank calls on this show. Some of them are fucking amazing and the others are really boring to listen to. And I'm too lazy to edit those out. But search for the one called Fat A-Hole. That's probably my favorite one they've ever done. That's one where he got chased around the parking lot a bunch by some guy. It was really funny. The guy could never catch him. Thank you to Raiden Digital, Inspector Ratchet, Todd L, Eat Fuck, and Grumpy Bernard for supporting the show and being the sponsors of today's show. If you'd like to support the show, you can do that by going to patreon.com slash phone losers and pledging just five bucks a month. That'll get you an extra show every week in addition to your regular snowplow shows, which is a really great deal. That's like $1.25 per extra episode. Who wouldn't want to pay for that? Thanks everybody for supporting the show. I'll see y'all next time. Please put your carts back in the cart corral when you're finished with them. What the hell were you born in a barn? See you next time, everyone. Cart narks out. Well, he collapsed with Stevens Johnson syndrome on the ER floor. Panic attack, anaphylactic. I don't smoke dope.